Hello again everyone, welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda. We're at lucky number part 7, and we're on our way now back to level 6, but before we go, we need to reheal. Bad. Because yeah, every time you restart the game, you restart back at 3 hearts. Thankfully, if the portals here will uh, cooperate with me, I know a quick way to do so. Providing that these portals cooperate, I'll be able to fully heal before I go. Okay, this is where we need to go, but not yet. There, here we are. Ta-da! Heal me, fairy. And heal me lots. Alright, now that we're fully healed, we're heading off to level 6. Ow. This may take a little bit, depending. We're just here. Okay, you can stop sending me back and forth. Portals are not fun. There we go. Alright, so now with this done, let's uh, head off to level 6, shall we? Just gonna wait for these pee hats to move out of the way. Come on, thank you. Now, like level 5 before, level 6 also has an alternate entrance that pretty much serves no purpose. I think it was this one. That was the other one. Again, it doesn't really serve any extra purpose, except it's just there. So here we are, level 6. Level 6 introduces possibly one of the, another one of the most annoying enemies in the game. Whiz robes! Oh, hey, look at that, I killed the ringleader. <laughs> yeah, in some cases, in some cases of enemy rooms, if you kill a certain one, then the others will die after that. That's pretty much what you call a ringleader. So we just kill these, grab the compass, Triforce is way up there. Now we just kill the keys. Keep climb. All the keys will die, grab a key. And just keep running forward, keep running forward, keep running forward. I feel like Indiana Jones. Oh god! I uh, like likes, like likes. I hate like likes. Oh, the blue whiz robes are definitely the worst of the bunch. Probably right up there with those blue dark nuts. Whoa, jeez. So we'll get rid of them first. Then you guys. And now for these. Stun, hit, stun, hit. No, oh boy. Stun hit, stun hit, stun hit. Ah, oh, the doors didn't open. Uh, push this. Problem solved. Now, uh. Gonna, uh get out of my way. Sheesh, I'm already back at three hard. Yep! See, I told you we'd be seeing him again. Uh, this is gonna be tough. Hit and run, hit and run, hit and run. Yaki ain't that tough. Ha <laughs> I beat ya. I beat ya down. Alright, now we hit in here. More like likes. God bless it. Stun hit, stun hit. Ah, hard, thank you. Haha, <laughs> you can't get me here. <laughs> Safe area. Sanctuary. Okay, yeah, I actually remember now. Level 4 was named after a snake. This one is named after a dragon. Hmm. Do I have enough? Uh, come on, wait for that to wear off. Wait for that to wear off. Now, up here we'll find the treasure for this dungeon. Give me that. I hate blue whiz robes! I really didn't want to have to, but looks like I have to. I hate blue whiz robes just as much as I hate blue dark nuts. Probably even more so. Alright. Ow! See, their spells take up a whole freaking heart of life. There we go. 
Okay, with that out of the way, this is the magic wand. Probably an early predecessor to the fire rod, I would say, of Link to the Past. So, let's just keep on going. Now, the magic rod right now, I can't really do much with it, though it does act as a very nice ranged weapon, so I'm going to go ahead and equip it. The problem is, of course, it's useless against whiz robes, which sucks. Dark room. Get out of the way. I'm ignoring you guys. Goodbye. Alright. A bunch of fire. Yeah, now that I have the magic sword, I can kill him without them being split into keys. Which is very beneficial. Now, once again, we gotta kill all the enemies in the room. Yike, 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 yike. Stay away from me. Get away, get away. See? Magic Rod does make a nice projectile weapon, though. Like I said, it's, it's useless against Swiss robes. It's just as strong. It's actually just as strong as the white sword brick when you throw it. So it's actually not that bad. So now we go through here. Go down this way. Yeah, and I can even still strike enemies with just the wand itself. Okay. The, the dungeon boss is nearby. Kill a bunch of fires. Grab a key for later. Keys won't matter in a little while, though. Alright. I'm gonna ignore you guys. We're gonna head up to the boss. Unfortunately, the boss here is incredibly easy. This is Goma. All we need to do is just shoot one arrow into its open eye, and then it's dead. See? Piece of cake. And that's that. Six pieces of the Triforce is ours. <sighs> Darn whiz robes. I hate them so much. So now with that out of the way, get out of the way, please. Thank you. You both die. Alright, with that out of the way, now we can head towards level 7. Now, let me think here. The only problem is, level 7 requires a few items. So, we're gonna have to, unfortunately, we need to restock on some rupees. Badly. Because I need at least... I think 160 before I go there, and I only have 44, so this is going to be a bit of a pain. I'm actually questioning, should I go ahead and uh, record me just getting all that stuff, or should I do it off camera? I think... I think maybe perhaps this time, I'm actually going to do this off camera because it is just probably not going to be worth your time watching. So, with that said... I'm going to pause the game, and I'm going to stop the video. Yeah, I know this one was pretty short, but like I said, I doubt you guys want to see me just uh, watch me collect rupees all around every time. So, yeah. This is probably going to be the only time in the walkthrough that I actually do this part off camera. So, I shall be right back. See you in the next part.